Peace everyone, I'm Maskard here and welcome to the Drawing Journal. So today, as you can probably tell from the title and the picture on my desktop here uh, in Photoshop, is that I'm going to be doing some sketching. And I, I kind of came up with this idea last minute. Uh, I have some excellent news for those of you that have been waiting patiently for my colored pencil portrait course. Uh, I finished up editing the course this morning. Uh, I, as soon as I woke up this morning, I got right into doing it. I had to record some more video. I had to do plenty more editing and it is done. Uh, so the next step, I'm kind of getting off topic here based on today's uh, live stream, but uh, I'm super excited. I, I finished it up just like an hour or two before I needed to start streaming and I still had not even gotten prepared for today's stream. <laughs> And so it is, it is complete. The, the last steps are for me to package it and upload it to my website. And then of course, announce it on my YouTube channel, Facebook and all that fun stuff. Um, so uh, I'm not gonna rush that process because I wanna make sure things go smoothly and go correctly. So I am projecting that uh, most likely the course will be available for purchase either Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, for sure, 100% this week, okay? 100% this week the course will be available. I'm so excited to, uh, to get that out to everybody. I've been dying to get it done, and I know a lot of people have been really looking forward to it, so I can't wait uh, to get it out to everybody. Uh, hello, everyone in the chat. Uh, Wendy, Jeff, Shiny, Laura, uh, Steve, Sandra, uh, Christine, uh, Wicked Illusions, good to see you again as well. Um, this will be fun. I love fairy tales, storybook drawings. I'm making a cocoa and maca powder hot drink instead of beer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so actually this idea, um, the fairy tale idea came from Gypsy Wolf and she sent me an email uh, giving me some ideas for a new project over on Patreon. And that project idea was do something a little bit more uh, fantasy fairy tale like. She sent me some images that definitely inspired me. And so that is what I'm going to be doing today is sketching out an idea that I plan to implement over on Patreon as a um, new project. Uh, as for those of you that uh, are already following me on Patreon, you know that the project that we're working on this week is a pastel portrait or a mini portrait. Um, and so next week we're going to start a new project and I hope that that project will uh, come from today's sketch idea. So I have a few, I have a couple ideas already in mind for this sketch here and I'm going to start off with um, a boot. So I'm, I, I'm going to do something kind of classical fairy tale-ish and do a, a, like a boot that a mouse lives in. And um, that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with the boot here. Hope everybody had an excellent weekend. Um, I had a very, very uh, calm and uh, enjoyable weekend with my lovely wife. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely um, nice to be back in Poland. Uh, so I'm going to just quickly sketch out kind of a, a boot shape here, and that is going to be the foundation for my sketch a little bit, and then you'll see where, uh, where my idea goes from there. And if you guys have any, if you guys have any ideas for uh, me to throw into this sketch for today, don't hesitate to... Uh, to toss them out. Tag me in the chat as well because there's a lot of you and sometimes I get lost in it. Uh, good morning Blossom, good to see you. Sorry, I forgot to put my hairs down. I, I don't like when my, my locks are up like that. It doesn't look good on camera. <laughs> All right. Um, bring out the tongue of this boot here. Uh, 
Uh, just saw your numbers on your subs. Wow, congrats on the growth this year. Thank you, Christine. Yes, um, the the subscribers have definitely been coming over uh, a lot on, on my channel, and it's it's been great. I, I think you're talking about my channel, <laughs> um, but it, it has it has been great. It's been um, it's been a very good year for my channel, and I have to uh, I have to thank all of you for you know continuing to, to support my my work and come by and hang out and keep me motivated and all that because um, you know sometimes it can get uh, overwhelming or just discouraging came up with a cool idea for a live stream for you to uh, for another time collab oh you must be having another conversation <laughs> Am I using a mouse to sketch or a pen? No, I am using my Oogie 2150 uh, drawing monitor that I did a review on a million years ago. Hello, Joe. Um, this is awesome from Ohio. I'm also from Ohio, Joe. That's cool. Of course, I live in Poland, Poland now, but that is where I'm originally from. So when I do these, when I do these first initial sketches, uh, I keep it about as sloppy as I can get it, uh, simply because I plan on sketching over top of it. And once I get, once I get like the general idea kind of scribbled down a little bit, it just makes it uh, easier to do another sketch over top, and then just build upon the um, build upon the idea. Uh, part Polish? Are, are you part Polish, or are you asking me if I'm part Polish? Because I'm, I'm not Polish. No, just my wife is. I feel like the toe might be a little thick here, so I'm gonna shrink it down a bit. round off the heel. Let's just get rid of that A little excess. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good boot shape. Now I just need to add the rubber sole to make it look a little bit more uh, natural. Not so much a high heel. Widens here. There we go. There, that looks like a boot, right? And um, let's see. Uh, let's add some creases here where the boot is flexing a little bit. Yeah, I think that I think that's a pretty solid boot. Everyone's having bananas tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> All right, uh, I think I want the heel to be just up a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring this up. Something like that. Get rid of that. And I'm gonna add the door here. So if you guys have any if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to ask. I don't have, like I said, I was really really unprepared for today's live stream because I um, was editing all morning and um, and early afternoon, and so I'm a little uh, unprepared as far as topics of conversation. So uh, if you guys want to help me out, go ahead and ask me questions. <laughs> Let's see, let's have this a wooden door. 
And I'm going to bring out some stairs now. So I'm going to get a, a little platform here. I'm just going to start with a block. So this is how I'll do the stairs. Keep things in perspective here. And then I'll just start another block right here. Just a, a one-two stair. Grab the eraser real quick. Clean that up so you can see my stair. And let's see, I'm gonna do some cobblestone and a path kind of like, I don't know, kind of like this, I think. So, yeah, maybe like that. I'll do some big stones like this, and then I'll fill in the gaps with some smaller stones. Like I said, this is just the sketch for now, so uh, I'm not trying to get anything to uh, completion. Still have to work on composition and whatnot. Throwing down an idea, it's best to just keep working, keep your pencil moving, uh, and see if you like where it's going. Uh, these, I feel like these stones might be a little bit too big. I feel like I'll probably want to make them smaller in, in the next variation of this sketch. And maybe have the cobblestone come out like that, yeah. I think like I think that works like that um, and the, the other thing uh, like I mentioned this was um, an email that I got from one of my patreon supporters and the picture ideas that she sent me had a lot of the toadstools in it and I really liked I really liked them so I uh, I thought that it would be cool to have kind of some toadstools um, kind of growing off the toe of the boot Let's see, uh, do I find digital art more enjoyable than traditional art? Or depends on your mood. Um, I, I don't really do much traditional art really at all. Uh, what I like to use my tablet or my monitor, my drawing monitor for is to do sketches like this because um, it, lets me, it lets me not waste paper from one and because digital art is by far the most forgiving of all, you know, types of art, um, I can do these quick, I can do these quick, dirty sketches um, and draw right over top of them. You'll, I'll, I'll show you what my, my strategy is uh, when I get to the next part of the sketch. So here's, here's some toadstools uh, growing off the, the boot here and I'll probably have some moss or something grow in there too and give them some circles uh, but I would say that I prefer traditional art for like the completion of projects much more uh, just because I, I like the tangible after uh, you know after you finish a traditional piece you have something physical in your hands and and just like when it comes to reading books I prefer to have the physical book. I, I can't do digital books. I have to have them in my hand. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but uh, I am. Um, uh, old lady in the shoe. Uh, I bought eight pairs of boots last week, all the same. <laughs> I've never seen this pen. I have Photoshopped elements. I wonder that pen would work on the program if you have a link to that pen. Um, you mean the, the brush that I'm using in Photoshop, like this kind of brush here that I'm using? Is that what you're referring to, Blossom? Uh, because if you are, uh, this, this is a custom brush that I made. Um, so I, I, I don't know, maybe I can send it. I don't, if anybody, I'll, maybe I'll try to figure it out and I don't know what I'd do with it, but uh, it's a very basic pencil uh, brush. 
uh, I could run you through what I have here. So on shape dynamics, I just have pen pressure. Uh, scatter, I have 58%. You can always pause this, go back, count one, count jitter, 5%. I have texture, and then I have this, this texture here, which I don't think, I think this is like standard in Photoshop. It's nothing special. It's just like a pencil texture. So I have this grainy texture selected, and then I have a scale, 40%, brightness, negative 111. Uh, so here's all my settings, then I have transfer. Transfer is also pen pressure, and then smoothing, I always have that selected. So that's the, uh, you can pause that, go back and set your brush to the same thing, and, and you'll have the same brush. And then I have it at size nine, but I'm, I'm at a 300 PPI, so it depends on the size of the digital project you're working on for your brush size. Um, Uh, just something to talk about over the last few months you have worked all sorts of mediums for your tutorials as of today What is your favorite and why? Uh, what is my favorite medium? Well, my favorite medium will always be oil paint <laughs> uh, But if I were to choose from all the mediums that I've used over the past few months um, I, I'd have to I'd have to say pastels. Like, I, I'm really enjoying pastels ever since I started them. And they're quick. They're fast. I, I guess that's the same thing. Um, the downside is that, they, yeah, they're a little messy and they take up a lot of room to store. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess I kind of lean more towards pastels than I do colored pencils at this point, but I still really like colored pencils. Digital art makes my wrists hurt. Uh, you might want to try changing the way you, you have it set up. It, um, I don't find it any more... Uh, I don't find it any different than when I'm drawing with a regular pencil, so try to adjust it to get it to feel like you're drawing like a regular pencil. In the meantime, I'm going to try to clean up my sketch a little bit here. Um, I always get, I always, when I do digital stuff, I always get sidetracked with, with the chat because it's so hard for me to concentrate with doing digital stuff. I'm so bad at it. Um, hello, Anna. I saw you come in. I forgot to say hi. Um, do you think that a subscription to Photoshop would be good even if the person that is very new to art and truly a beginner? I've never used digital art and I'm just now learning. Um, if you, if you, I use Photoshop for so much stuff. Um, I use it a lot for my video editing. I use it for planning my, my work just like this and uh, I use it to uh, adjust my my photographs uh, that I take of my artwork. Um, so I use it a lot, a lot. And if if you're a hobbyist artist, then I would say that uh, you shouldn't wait to get Photoshop. You should uh, immediately start learning it and figuring out how to, to use it, not necessarily for digital art, but for at least laying out your photos and um, maybe doing some mild uh, photography or photo editing. Um, I think that uh, it, it trains your brain in a different way than, than other mediums to, to think about complex things like color and uh, just a whole a whole bunch of stuff so I would always say that uh, it's worth having and I think the digital uh, digital subscription of it is definitely worth it I mean I but I use it a lot so um, I'm always going to think that the, the subscription is worth it uh, and the funny thing is I'm coming from somebody that uh, I've always used a pirated version of Photoshop since like the the day I had a computer um, and 
now I finally pay for it and I, I would say that it's worth having and not having to worry about um, updates or or anything uh, that's going to change over the years like I'm automatically going to get all the updates and the subscription is going to basically pay for itself because I make money doing it I make money doing art and Photoshop helps me do that very quickly I, I of course make all of my uh, thumbnails for YouTube and all that stuff as well which is you know just another thing that I use YouTube or uh, that I use uh, Photoshop for but I love it for doing the digital sketches and if you get into it um, it could be a lot of fun to do other drawings and projects I've actually been considering doing um, there's, there's kind of this trend going around a little bit on videos, uh, on art videos on YouTube where people, like artists, will try other tutorials from other artists and uh, there, there's a lot of digital tutorials and I thought about doing a digital tutorial from another artist just because I don't do digital art. Like, this is the most that you'd really see me do with, with digital art. Uh, just because I like to use Photoshop for the sketching purposes because it's faster than a pencil, it's easier to erase, um, and it doesn't waste paper. Um, I like to do I like to do that too. First quick sketch with Photoshop, then do the traditional way of pencil. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I love using Photoshop for. Um, oh hello Julie. Uh, this is Photoshop, Christine. Yes. Uh, when you can't get the most books you want to read, you come to love e-readers very soon. Uh, do do you have any other art courses planned? Yes, I do. Um, so after I get this course uploaded, I'm immediately going into recording part two. So I'm going to be doing a colored pencil portrait course part two. Um, and uh, I don't think I, I I don't think I actually have the reference photo yet. Um, I have it in mind. I've I've already like bookmarked it on my uh, reference photo site that I buy the rights to and and whatnot. Uh, so I'm gonna just jump right into recording that, and I plan on having it done by the end of August. I want to get it done by the end of August. That's my that's my absolute plan. Uh, could you ever do a tutorial on basic Photoshop use? Uh, honestly, I don't think I could. I've been I've been using Photoshop uh, for fourteen years, maybe fifteen years, and the only things that I know how to do are what I want to do, and I always learned those from other tutorials. So the best that I could really do with Photoshop is just kind of regurgitate other people's tutorials. And I wouldn't want to do that because I'd feel really unoriginal. I, I'd, I'd prefer to do something a little bit more natural. I have my way of doing my sketches and a way of doing what I use Photoshop for. But there's just, the, I don't, honestly, I don't think there's a basic to, to Photoshop. Photoshop is so insanely complex that the only way that you're ever going to learn it is to just mess around in it because that's what I've been doing the last 14 years um, and that's how I'm able to use it. I would say like the most important thing to learn uh, is layers and layer masks. That's you. If you can learn layers and layer masks, you can do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Um, and then you just kind of like learn from there. But you have to understand how layers work. Like, if you can understand how layers in Photoshop work, I mean, that's 
they take I think that takes uh, some time to just comprehend uh, but once you get that then you know then you just build up the the tips and tricks that you want to perform like what do you want Photoshop for creating coloring line art I, I still don't even have that great of a, a grasp on the best way of coloring line art uh, oh, hello, Cece. Good to see you. Uh, do I use a Wacom? No, I don't. I use a Oogie 2150. Uh, good morning, Barbara. How do you use the mouse in it? Well, um, I use this pen. I don't know how well you can see that. This is the, the touch pen that I use on my monitor. Uh, I have my computer mouse here and I just I just grab my mouse. I can use it. I can't use it at the same time, but uh, I wouldn't really want to do that anyway. Uh, but uh, yeah. The mouse, the mouse still works just fine. All right, uh, I think that's a good first sketch. Oh wait, no, I need a, I need a window here, so I'm gonna throw in a window. Gonna make it wonky. That way, it, it looks more cartoonish. Kind of want it looking cartoonish. Let me erase the side of the boot there. Uh, I use my so there's uh, the a lot of people have been bringing up the Wacom and the Wacom I've never used one before but uh, I've only ever heard good things about it and some of them come with like expression keys on the side that you can change and uh, do things with and I just use my wireless keyboard um, I have basically all of the shortcut keys. Uh, for Photoshop and my uh, video editing software memorized I know all the key combination shortcuts for stuff and that just makes your life a thousand times easier that's another thing I uh, if you're learning Photoshop it probably be in your best interest to uh, also take the time to learn the shortcut keys for a lot of the things that you do like undoing I actually have my undo button uh, altered I have it customized in my Photoshop because you have you have the undo redo which is just command Z and then you have the undo that just continues to undo which is command shift Z but I never do uh, I never do animation so I feel like the undo redo combination with command Z uh, doesn't really do me any good so I just I just have it to command Z to undo and it will just continue to undo rather than undo redo all right I think yeah I think that's a good uh, first sketch so what I usually do um, I don't really have I'm not really uh, working with composition right now I'm just kind of drawing my elements so what I like to do is I like to make a new layer. I'm going to call this sketch two. And I take this layer that I did the sketch with and command U to hue saturate it. And then I click on colorize and I colorize it like a bluish color or a purplish color and just make it real light. Something like that. Maybe even a little bit lighter. Yeah. So I make it really, really light, and then I go on my next, uh, my next layer here, and I just come in and I kind of fine tune my sketch just a little bit. So I'm going to clean up this door here. Maybe add some some detail to the door, like a door frame, perhaps. Here's a here's the bottom. So I'll add like a, a step here. And then maybe uh, a door frame right on the inside. 
This is still a sketch, so I'm not really trying to make it precise or anything. And here's the window. Try to make that a little bit more round. And then I'll put a thing in it like that. And just some quick scrapes for the wood grain. Uh, control shift button is called control shift. What is control shift? What's control shift do? Control shift doesn't do anything on, on mine. I'm curious what it does. Um, Oh wait, how do I do this? Preferences, general shortcuts. Do I have shortcuts here? Hmm. I'm trying I'm curious as what it does. Keyboard shortcuts. Control shift. I don't know. Oh, control Z. Yeah. Yeah, control shift. That one's always a lifesaver. I actually have a button on my keyboard or my pen that I can do the undo, but I don't actually use it because I find it quicker for me to just go to my keyboard. I almost always have my I almost always have my, my thumb and my index finger on command Z or control Z. Uh, what if I delete my whole picture? Um, I've never ever had that happen before, ever. And even if I did accidentally delete something, or even if my computer just randomly shut off for some reason, um, my computer saves everything that I'm doing. So as soon as I power back on my computer, it would open up Photoshop and it would open up exactly what I'm doing. All right, back to back to this. Let's uh, let's do these stairs now. Uh, actually, I kind of want to make the stairs a little bit wider than the door. So I'm going to just sketch them a little bit wider here. Just like that. And it's going to come down and out and down. Out and down. There we go. Now the stairs are a little bit wider than the door. I think that makes it look a little bit better. The other thing that I really like um, when doing the digital stuff is like, see this little hand here? This is, this is another thing that I use so much because I like to draw with being able to like super zoom in. I don't, some people are able to draw like just like this digitally and I, I don't. I don't like, I, I'll do my sketches like that, but I like to do my drawing like zoomed in and to move uh, the paper around, you just hold down the, the space bar. So you hold down the space bar, you get this little hand here, and then you can just drag the page anywhere you want. And then if you hold down R, if you hold down R, you can spin it. Hold down R and shift and you can spin it at particular angles like your 90, 45, 60, 80, whatever it is. Yeah, so those are some very important digital art uh, shortcut keys that uh, you should definitely, you should definitely know. All right, let's do this window a little bit better. So I'll just crop off the top there and the bottom.
who lives in this shoe house then? Um, I haven't drawn them yet. Now, a, a little mouse is going to live in it. Because I couldn't come up with a better idea. Uh, it has a pen. Yeah, this, this pen has the two buttons that you can change as well. Uh, I actually... I actually don't use the button for anything other than right click. So I, I, I think right click is much more useful um, than like the undo command. Some people like the undo command, but I actually don't because I would hit it accidentally because I, I hit the, uh, the right click a lot, a lot, a lot. And um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I do need to have a right click so that I can do things that I don't need to grab my mouse for. All right, make these circles a little bit better. Let's see. This uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump down here really quick. Draw these toadstools. And let's shape up the circles a bit better as well. Maybe a little one here. Yeah. And then this long one here. I don't like that circle. Yeah, see this is this is what happens when I do when I do digital stuff, uh, I have the hardest time talking while doing it. Because I don't know why. I you would think it feels like drawing for me a lot. It just feels like drawing, and uh, whether I'm I'm doing it on paper or not. But um, for some reason, I have the hardest time doing the live streams, doing digital work. It's either I talk a lot and do nothing, or I uh, do something and I go quiet. I have the hardest time with it and I can't figure out why. Just something about doing digital work that uh, makes it really hard for me to uh, find words to say. There we go. There's the shoelace. Digital sketching always looks so slow. Watch lots of people try to do fast challenges, like 10 minute, one minute, 10 seconds. And I'm like, why not just grab a pencil faster? Uh, you can have Photoshop on Microsoft or Apple. Not sure if that's a question, but yes, I am using, I'm using a Mac. Uh, my specific computer is an upgraded Mac mini. Do I have an iPad Pro? No. Yeah, uh, the the iPad app Procreate does uh, does work a lot like Photoshop, and you can certainly get uh, you can certainly get good at uh, the concepts that Photoshop has, like layers and masks. Uh, I'm not sure how closely it is to Photoshop. I know that it, I have used it on my sister's iPad um, and it feels really good. Uh, the Apple really should have came up with a better idea for charging their their pens, but um, it does feel really nice. It's super responsive and uh, it's definitely uh, a cool a cool tool to use. 
and since it's portable, you know, it just makes it that much more uh, easy to use different places. Sometimes, sometimes I wish that uh, I could take my my digital drawing monitor uh, places, but uh, usually if I'm traveling somewhere, drawing is the the last thing on my mind to to do. I like to when I when I travel, I like to do things other than what I do for work. So I usually don't draw or create anything when I'm traveling somewhere. And I can't really use I can't really use anything like that uh, like on a plane or um, or long bus rides or anything like that because I get motion sickness too much and I can't stare down at anything. I can't read a book or, or do anything. where this is going. I sketched these shoelaces and I'm not quite sure uh, where where one crosses the other. Oh well. This is uh, not the final sketch, so I suppose I can just throw these shoelaces wherever I want. Um, let's see. I feel like I feel like there needs to be a shoelace somewhere here. Ah, whatever. Can you bring your Procreate files into Photoshop and work on them there as well? You know what? I'm not sure if you can. Um, as far as like layers and things like that, let's just Google it. Can Photoshop use Procreate files? Procreate files. Uh, Procreate supports the use of Photoshop files as well. So you can actually import old PSDs and keep working. You can drag and drop artwork from other applications right into Procreate. There's the answer to your question. So uh, yes, Procreate you can use Photoshop files. And I don't know about vice versa. It didn't actually say that, but um, you can certainly uh, use Photoshop files in Procreate. I don't know. I, I can't imagine that uh, Photoshop doesn't support Procreate layers and things. So perhaps. All right. That that boot house looks pretty good. Now I want to figure out this. I, I actually kind of like the larger stones. I kind of like the larger stones. So um, I'm not going to do the outline. I use that just to shape the uh, cobblestone here. And I'm going to try to do like less perfect oval type stones. And just go like this. And some of the stones that I really like, I kind of like this one here and this one here. Um, I like this one and this one. And I, I really like this one down here. Uh, and this one I do like a little bit. And then I need one coming out here and one over here. Oh, that one's too... No, more like that. There we go. This one I like... Um, let's see, I don't really like this one over here, so I'm going to just draw a different one there. 
and I kind of like the one here. Let's see. Oh, I like this one here. So I'm just going through and picking the stones that I like. And I kind of like this cluster here, okay, like this three cluster, kind of close like that. And uh, I like a cluster here, just a little bit different. And ooh, the, these two overlap and they create this small one, the small stone there, so I'm gonna do that. And create a three cluster here. Um, let's go a little bit bigger here. And maybe a, another small one there. Uh, I kind of like this cluster happening here with the three medium sized ones. And then this one here. This one, yeah, this one can go rather large. This can go rather large. And then maybe a, a few small ones breaking up that. And another large one here. Uh, do I ever struggle to think of an idea to create in Photoshop? Lucy, I am an artist. We all struggle to think up any ideas. So yes, I can assure you, I have plenty of struggles when it comes to thinking of ideas. Fortunately though, I have a wonderful artistic family over on Facebook that constantly feeds me inspiration. So uh, the, I don't struggle as much as I used to. <laughs> but uh, we all struggle. We all struggle sometimes, so. Uh, for this particular piece, I for this particular piece, I actually didn't struggle much at all because, like I said, uh, my lovely uh, Patreon supporter emailed me kindly with uh, some ideas for a new project for a new tutorial over on Patreon, and uh, I was like, I love it. I haven't done anything like that before. It gives me the opportunity to create something kind of original and and fresh. And uh, so I, I was like, all right, let's let's do this. And and now here I am sketching this uh, this kind of random idea uh, uh, in Photoshop for you guys. And it gives me it gives me a chance to use this um, this drawing monitor that I've had for some time, but I don't really use it all that much. Uh, a lot of stuff that I do in Photoshop, I actually just do with my mouse uh, because I, I mostly do like like uh, photo editing, like that's, or text or something along those lines. Even when I, for the most part, even when I'm creating a, a logo for a business or something like that, um, I use my mouse. I don't, uh, I don't actually draw it with, uh, with the pen. All right, so let's get rid of the first sketch. And here's the nice clean sketch, and I can move that around the paper any way I like. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that though. Uh, so, yeah, there's there's the nice little sketch of my boot house. Now to put in my little uh, mouse. And originally, I thought I wanted the mouse sitting on the or standing on the stairs, but I'm not too sure about that now. I kind of am thinking about, I'm going to put the mouse on a different layer here. I'm kind of thinking about putting the mouse here. But that could just be because I haven't composed my finished piece. Let me just crop this down because I don't need that much room. Yeah, I still, find, I still kind of think I want the mouse here. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this oval here. That was just kind of for placement. So let's. Uh, so the door is, the door is that. So I'm gonna just chop it down to here. Or actually, there. That that's the door. That's measuring the door. So I, I don't want my mouse to be much bigger than the door. I I, I don't I don't want him to be bigger than the door. Uh, and then I'm going to. Uh, snakes, snakes live in boots. <laughs> I could do a snake. I could throw a snake in here somewhere. I think that would be a good idea. Snake would be kind of fun. 
Uh, I'm going to do kind of like a block shape like this first for my mouse. Okay, I just want to get the proportions a little bit. Uh, love this that you're making here. Oh, thank you, uh, Stacy. Yeah, if you're going to if you're going to get the uh, the plan for Photoshop and Lightroom, yeah, just just get the bundle because if you ever get a camera like a, a a camera that shoots raw, then it's worth it's worth having the second program plus like Wendy said, it's cheaper. Yeah, snakes snakes and mice they don't usually get along all that well, so. Um, We'll, we'll see. All right, this is where the nose is going to be. Here's one eye. This is gonna. This, this mouse is gonna look a little weird at first. Uh, its head is gonna be kind of round, like this, and it come down like this. And its hands are gonna be here. So I'm gonna just put its hands there. Uh, yeah, a vegan snake, of course. Yeah, it's a it's a vegan snake. He he only eats. Um, a snake that only eats toadstools. That's what it is. I'm gonna have my uh, my mouse be a little pudgy, little cute little pudgy mouse. <clears throat> yeah, he needs his ears though. If I'm gonna convince anybody that this is a mouse, tiny little nose here. And then, of course, his feet. And little toes. I'm not going for, like, any uh, realistic thing here. Uh, and then I'll have his tail. Kind of like that. I think that works. <clears throat> uh... For placement wise, I think that works for placement. Or should I have him facing the other way? Should I be facing that way? But he, see this is the mouse that lives in the shoe. And if I face him that way, I feel like he's waiting outside the door. But if I have him facing the other way, I feel like he lives there. What if I put him here? Does he work on the stairs? Does he work here? Does it crowd? If, I feel like if he if I put him on the stairs, it kind of crowds the stairs. So maybe I'll put him like right here. Maybe right there. I kind of like him there. I think he works there. What do you guys think? Um, and you should add Nugget because he's been so neglected. Come on, Christine, you know me better than that. Of course, Nugget's gonna be here. Who do you think the mouse is hanging out with? Also, the mouse should have clothes. Hmm. Well, what do mouse wear? What do, what do mice wear? You liked him in the first spot, so over here, like right there. I like him there too. I think it balances out well. Yeah, I like them there. I like them there. Yep. Nugget is not killed off. Nugget is immortal. Yeah, let's add Nugget. Where should Nugget be? I was actually, when I was thinking about it, I should have like Nugget like crawling up the side of the There's Nugget, waving. Mm. 
Nah, I don't. Can can I have Nugget on the the side of the boot there? I was actually thinking about putting Nugget down here. Nugget with his tongue out. <laughs> Little top hat and walking stick. Oh, I like that. Where should Nugget be? Nugget should be on the mushrooms. Oh, oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's get rid of these nuggets. Um, let's put... Uh, so let's put a little cluster of... of uh, uh, a little cluster of uh, toadstools back here. Let's have, um, let's kind of have a big one like this, I think, uh, with a with a smaller one down here, and then an even smaller one down here. So we'll do kind of like this. Kind of like this, I think. And we can have Nugget. We can have Nugget right here. Kind of coming around from the uh, the back there. So here's his little flipper. Here's his other little flipper. And then it, kind of like this. There's his back a little bit. Of course, he's always smiling. What do you guys think of Nugget back there? Oh my gosh, what about Nugget on upside down? Upside down Nugget. What, I, what about upside down Nugget? All right, you guys have to give. Okay, it's it's voting time. Either, either Nugget one or Nugget two. Just put ones and twos in the chats. Either Nugget one or Nugget two. Either way, the toadstools are going there. Nugget two. Two, okay. I got two for two. Okay, I got two ones and three twos, four twos. Oh, five twos. Okay, two is killing it. Two's killing it. Yep, okay. So Nugget's going on the shoe. He's He's going to be upside down, Nugget. Uh, the toadstools are still going to stay there. Oh, ones are trying to make a comeback here. Got a couple ones. But I think two's going to take it. I think two's going to take it. All right. Nugget two wins. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to do another quick layer here. I'm going to get rid of these nuggets. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do a quick layer for these toadstools back here. So I'm just gonna sketch these in a little bit. I'm gonna fix the mouse too. Don't worry about that. We'll get, we'll give the mouse some overalls. I saw. Um, Saw somebody comment about uh, overalls, and I, I kind of like that idea because he lives out in the woods, kind of. Uh... There we go. 
So we got some some uh, toadstools out here. Need to give it some grass. And then of course Nugget is going to be right here. Let's uh, get it totally vertical. So Nugget will be here. Let me just put him on another layer. What's this one? Yeah, I can I can get rid of that layer now. Shorts with a belt. Yay overalls. All right, let's see. Um, probably going to have to redraw Nugget a couple times. It's been a while since I've drawn him. There we go. Nugget on the sheet. I love that. I love that. What are the origins of Nugget? Can somebody help me out there? <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's the quick answer, Shiny. Nugget is an original character that I, that I came up with randomly in Inktober, and for some reason he just, he just evolved. He just evolved into the, the, the family the, the family pet. Uh, and I brought out I brought out all the slug lovers. Everybody loves slugs now. So uh, and I, I think I, I told some stories about how like I always try to save slugs. Um, and yeah, I just I just find them to be adorable and I think uh, uh, I think that's just kind of where it came from kind of subconsciously. so. Yeah. All right. Um, what else should I add here? Uh, obviously, I want to do I want to do some scenery in the background. You know, uh, some taller grass and some weeds and stuff. But uh, I think I'm going to save that for later. That 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 stuff's no fun to draw. Uh, maybe some some grass coming out uh, over here. So some, some grass there, maybe some grass here. Uh, I'll fix that grass. It doesn't really look all that good, but um, I don't know what else. Uh, maybe a few little flowers, a few little flowers. That looks terrible. I don't know, maybe another animal, but maybe not, you know, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. Oh, thank you, Pony. <laughs> A snake hiding in the mushrooms. Snake hiding in the mushrooms. Well, that seems kind of, I don't know. Water feature, that's a good idea. Oh, wait, water feature through the pebbles, but that's a walkway. Maybe, um, I, I, when you said water feature, I, I was just waiting for somebody to say, gosh darn waterfall. <laughs> and now that I was thinking waterfall, I'm thinking waterfall would be nice what if i put like um what if i uh, let me add another layer what if i put a waterfall back here a little waterfall tree or something and then a waterfall could i could i get away with that 
Could I get away with a waterfall up here? Maybe a tree on both sides, something like that. Does that work? The only problem that I have with it is uh, maybe if I did like a little creek, a little uh, bit of water back here. Uh, I'd have to work with the perspective a little bit, but if I had some water back here, uh, and then I, I noticed somebody said butterfly, I could, I could draw, um, I could do a, a little bit of a butterfly here. You know? If I had a butterfly there, and then I did a waterfall, and then this would be water back here. Uh, and then I could have like a little meadow, and then maybe some hills or something. Does that work? A baby cricket? I'd have to, I'd, I'd have to go, um, I'd have to go look for a reference photo. I'm not so familiar with crickets that I could, uh, that I could draw one. Moss and a waterfall. Uh, yeah, yeah, I want to add some moss, something like that. Maybe a rock, little rock right here. Little baby rock next to it. In a world full of terror, a single hero fights back and in his wake a trail of justice. Nugget. <laughs> You're so funny, Anna. Uh, water feature coming from the toe where the mushrooms are coming out. So mushrooms are just behind the water feature pouring into the stream. Wait, these mushrooms or wait, coming off the, coming from the toe. So water coming from the toe into a little pool. What if I did like, um, maybe he has, maybe, oh, I, I like that. Little waterfall, you know, little, little fountain. Uh, and then he has, he has it landscaped. Uh, he has his own little water feature. Yeah, he has, he has his, his boot landscaped here. And then just, there we go. Like that? Is that what you're talking about? I kind of like that idea. And then maybe I could throw in a bush or two or something like that. Poison ivy, that's a good one. Or not necessarily poison ivy, but uh, maybe like uh, vines uh, growing up off. I don't, I don't really know how to do this, but maybe uh, some vines growing off the boot like this. with little flowers, little flowers. Could do something like that. I like that. Okay, so you, you like the toe feature. I like the toe feature too, that's a good idea. Um, I still kind of like the waterfall idea in the background though, but now I feel like it's too much if I put the waterfall in the background, I like the water feature up front though. Yeah, I like the water feature up front. Let's add a little bit more ivy here. I can add some leaves off that ivy as well. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I think that works out pretty good. I need a better butterfly. I'd have to. I'll have to find a reference photo for, for a better butterfly. I can't really come up with a, a good one on just from my imagination. I, I don't draw that many butterflies. Yeah, maybe he should have something in his hand. What about an umbrella?
little little umbrella and then I can just draw some rain whoa come on now what are you doing oh no I broke it I broke it what is going on there we go I can draw some rain coming down little raindrops coming off the rocks and of course the water itself what about like that um, you can keep the waterfall in the background but just make it really misty back there so it, it's a bit blurred out of focus yeah Oh, a walking stick. I like that. Yeah, I like a walking stick. I don't know if I want it raining. It's supposed to be happy. Yeah, I, I, I don't want the rain. I changed my mind about the rain. And the umbrella. I like the walking stick, though. Maybe he's a ninja. Maybe maybe it's a splinter, and I should give him nunchucks. Let's see. Let's put a stick like this. Yeah, walking stick. I like I like a walking stick. And maybe a little hat. Hmm. Maybe not. He he's he's quite small. Maybe no vines either. Yeah, possibly. The vines, I think they only look a little sinister because it's black, so. Let's see, what did we, we added so much on this layer. Yeah, that's a quite, uh, yeah, ninja, a ninja mouse. Now, he is a ninja, okay? He is a ninja, but his cane, see, his cane doubles as a weapon. He, he twists it, and then it turns into nunchucks. That's what it is. So his cane, see, his cane is shaped like this. And then he just, he twists it like this. And then they come apart like this. And then he says that nom. So he is a ninja, just to be clear. He is a ninja and his cane is actually his nunchucks. So I'm not gonna draw him with his nunchucks because He's obviously not fighting anybody, but his cane is also nunchucks. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna add another layer real quick and I'm going to colorize this layer. And do a bit more sketching. Uh, so what did we add here? We added, um, I'm going to, wait, where's the mouse at? What layer is the mouse on? Oh, there he is. So let me colorize the mouse too. There we go. Now we're nice and close. And I can maybe shrink my brush a little bit. Oh, hello, Alex. Been a while. Oh yes, a turtle, a turtle would be nice. Let's see here. He's just gonna have, wait, I'm on the wrong layer, aren't I? Gosh darn it. There we go. 
Blue eyes. See, I actually don't know how to draw a, a cute mouse, so don't judge me. I need to figure this out. And I'm not really going for like realistic, like I said, so I really don't know what I'm doing here. The fact that this even looks like a mouse right now is kind of kind of surprising. Did it again. I'm not sure what to do with his face here. That's what I'm struggling with. Maybe he's a little he's a little older. Oh, he should have eyebrows, right? That looks angry. Why does he look angry? There we go. That that's better. He's an aged, slightly overweight ninja mouse. That is He needs a name though, so you guys need to come up with a name. bigger eyes, but he's older. Older people have smaller eyes. And like I said, he's he's really small in the drawing, so I can't really add a lot of detail to him. So just keep that in mind. He can't have a lot of detail in him. Like, I'm not even really going to do fingers all that much. Just kind of imply his hands a bit, like this. So don't get, don't get too carried away. You guys remember how much we, uh, we were discussing Nugget's name, so this time I can't come up with a name. You guys got to come up with a name for our little, uh, our elder mouse ninja. All right, what else did we add here? Uh, we added this rock. I like the rock. Sunsei. The needle from sewing. Wait. His cane should be a needle. No, his, his cane's not a needle. Remember, he's a ninja. It's his nunchucks in disguise. Henty Wu. Uh, oh, okay, Alex, you take care. Master Zen. Henry Wu. Henry Wu by Wendy. Oh, <laughs> that, that wasn't a name. <laughs> whiskers and maybe a little goatee. Oh, right, right, he needs whiskers. That's why he doesn't look like a mouse. Oh my goodness, that was it. Now he's got, now he's, now he's a mouse. Now he's a mouse. 
Sensei is the teacher or master. Do you mean sensei? Like Japanese teacher? Sensei? Pookie? <laughs> I'm not gonna name him Pookie, he's a ninja. Since he is old, he would be considered a master or teacher. Okay. Well, I was reading it. I was reading it sensei. Because I thought it was something else. But yeah, sensei. Uh, I would give him a beard, but it would cover his hands. So I'm, I'm gonna, let's pretend his beard is behind his hands. doing the the bricks here for his little water thingy pond uh, fountain chop suey I kind of like chop suey the rat from Ninja Turtles is splinter But he's a mouse. This is a mouse. Not quite a rat. Rats are longer. They have like longer bodies. Mat mouse mice are more like pudgy, round creatures. Uh, I do like the water in the back here, so I'm going to add that. I like that little stream that we got going on back there. Um, and I, I am kind of a fan of the hills. Alright, let's see. Yeah, let's get rid of that, get rid of that. So now uh, I think maybe I'll just continue on with the hill over here. Maybe cut through there, up like that. That's just the stream there. Master Wu. <laughs> Master Duncan. Mouster. Master Wu. Master Wu. I like that. Yeah, Master Wu. His student is Nugget, by the way. Obviously. Come on now. Mouster Wu and Student Nugget. We could, um, so... Let me see if I can do this. Um, that's odd. Um, for some reason, Japanese isn't on my keyboard anymore. But uh, this is Mousu Wu. 
Maosu is Japanese for mouse, but it sounds like mouse, but it also kind of sounds like master. But I do like mouster. Mouster woo. I, the, it's the woo thing I'm kind of caught up on. Mouster. Mouster. I like mouster, but... Uh, mouster woo. All right, let's go with Mouster Wu. Yeah, I like Mouster Wu. What the heck is that? Mouster? Spelled like that? Ooh. Mouster? Mouster, Mousu. I I think that that's kind of nice. Ma, uh, Mouster, Mousu. Yeah, I think that's good. Master, Mousu. Gosh darn it! I keep doing that. Sorry. Japanese for mouse. Mouster also kind of sounds like monster a little bit. Kind of, it kind of sounds like monster, doesn't it? Just a bit. Monster, mouse. Mouster. Monster. It might be too close. It might be too close. But we can we can stick with it. This is this is going to be the the end of the sketch though. Um, I like this idea. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do over the next week is I am going to uh, ink this in Photoshop here and create kind of like a coloring page um, with the line art and stuff. And I will give you guys this, uh, this page here to color. And you can do it digitally or you can trace it and do it traditionally. I am most likely going to draw this out onto um, a regular piece of paper and color it with colored pencils and just have fun with it so uh, but that is going to be it for today uh, it was super fun collaborating with all of you awesome people uh, gave me some really great ideas for this piece and uh, I love I love the upside down nugget on the tongue of the boot I think that is just perfect for the scene and it just works really nicely I might I might end up changing the background a little bit um, it just depends on where I go with when I when I do some of the final sketching uh, before inking it and uh, but uh, I kind of like the hills a little bit because they don't uh, they're not very distracting but I might change something about them who knows maybe what I'll do is I'll just add like a really big tree right behind the boot and it'll just be like tree bark or something like that and then you'll see some bare plants and things coming down to the right I'm not sure. I don't want to add too much to the background to take away from the foreground, but we'll see. Yes, you'll get to color it. Yes. Um, anyways, uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, the colored pencil portrait course is going to be out this week. So I cannot wait to get that to you guys. And uh, I look forward to starting on the, uh, the part two, which I hope to have by the end of next month and uh, that's that's pretty much it um, 
thank you for coming by and hanging out and sketching with me and giving me some ideas. Uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up so that I know that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you don't already, you can support me over on Patreon, and I'm going to be doing uh, my coloring as a live stream of this piece next week, starting next week over on Patreon. And uh, this week we are currently working on a pastel mini portrait, so if you want to uh, get in on that tutorial for pastels, then you know head over to my Patreon page. Um, other than that, um, you know, if, if you can't do if you can't do the Patreon, that's fine. Um, I don't hold that against anybody. That's why I like to come over to YouTube and do live streams and hang out with everyone. Uh, but uh, if you want to just show some support for my channel, you know, share it with your friends, share it on Facebook, tweet out your favorite video or something like that. I have, like, as of now, um, I have over like 600 videos, and most a lot of them are actually over on Patreon. Um, so I could have, I don't, I actually don't know how many videos I have because I could have somewhere close to a thousand by now, which is just kind of crazy to think about. Um, but if you want to have access to all my videos, then kind of have to go over to Patreon for that. But, uh, yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much. I love hanging out with you and I will see you next Monday for sure. Um, I'll probably do some of the inking on this for next Monday or I'll continue to be working on it or something like that um, if I don't get it done this week. But uh, I hope you guys have an awesome week, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.